Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these long royal earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you don't like them that long you could make them like this without adding the last element and I'll show you how. And another idea is to make this a necklace. Okay, so if you uh, make this the center and two mores and attach chains here, this will become a beautiful necklace. And I'll give a link to a tutorial where I'm making similar necklace. If you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm going to use for this video are two colors of 80 beads and two colors of 11 seed beads. And here I use ear wires in bead, this beautiful old gold color. And this is fire line that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters, but you could use other beading thread of your choice. And here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And for the first part of my bracelet, I'm going to take only 60 centimeters of thread, which is two feet of thread because I won't need too much of it and I will start. Okay, and I'm starting by picking up four of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, I have my four in them. And I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and make a knot here. Okay, I'm making a knot by making a loop going twice through this loop and then I'm going to make one more knot just like this. Now guys, in my next step I'm going through the first golden here and I'm going to take four black atos one and go here between those two goldens this is what i have then two and repeat this two more times Okay guys, now this is what I have and I'm going here through this black one. And in my next step I'm going to take a red, a golden and a red. This is what I have here. And as I'm exiting from one of my blacks I'm going through the other one. Just like that. Then again a red, a golden and a red go through the following black and repeat this two more times okay guys now i have this and what i want to do is go here at the edge and attach my ear wire Okay, and in order to do this, I'm taking one golden bead, then my ear wire, slide those down, then take one more golden, like this, and I'm going around in circle attaching my ear wire. Okay. 
Then guys, I will go through some beads in this direction. By the way, you could reinforce your work one more time if you want. And here I will choose a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay. Making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then I'm going through the following bit. And I'm cutting this thread. You could burn it with a zipper if you want. Okay. And now the first part of my earring is ready. I have this one. Now guys, pay attention. I will make another element like this. Um, but without adding an ear wire to it and from this shape i will continue to this one okay so see you in a while do this shape if you forgot how i did it rewind this video make it without attaching this one and i'll be back okay guys and now i'm here where i'm making exactly the same element like this one it's easy to make but if you forgot how I did it, rewind this video and repeat this process. I'm doing it like that because every step of my earring contains the previous one. So now we are making this one here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is go through all of those beads. and add here black beads black atos everywhere where my black atos is are next to them at blacks Okay guys, now I have this and what I'm going to do in my next step is exit through one of those black atos and I'm going to take two red beads, one golden and two reds. This is what I have. Here I have one red, one golden, one red and here two, two reds, one golden, two reds. Okay. I'm increasing the number of reds with one surrounding the golden one, okay? Repeat. And this, guys, is called peyote stitch, okay? I'm going to stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is cut this tail thread. I don't need it anymore. And what I'm going to do in my next step is add goldens and blacks here. This is what my next row will be about. But when I start the largest element, I will be up to this stage and um, without adding these three beads everywhere here, I will first continue with the last row, which will consist of three red beads, one golden, three reds, and then add this at the edge. But I will show you this, don't worry. Okay, now what I need are three goldens. Three blacks. Three goldens and I will continue this until the end of this row.
okay guys and now this is what I have and what I do is that I take this element and I will attach both of them okay and how I'm doing this I'm exiting out of here out of the edge golden take one golden and go through this golden at the edge of my first element and I pull take one more golden go back through it like this and make an additional reinforcement Okay, here make a knot and cut your thread then I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've, make, I've made and I'm pulling then I'm going through the following seed bead and I might want to repeat this step several more times and I'll be back to tell you how to make the rest of your earring by the way you could stop up to here if you don't like earring that's long enough you could stop up to here to this stage okay and now i'm going to make this element without these edge beads that i added last because i want to turn it into this larger element as i told you okay i'll do it up to here and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next Okay guys, and now I'm up to this part in a new element, okay? This one without the edges here, okay? And I'm not adding edges because I'm going to expand it even more. Okay, and how I'm doing this? I'm going here at these black ones and adding blacks at the holes. Okay, now I have this and my next step will finish this element. Okay, and it will be to go through the black one and add one more red than I had before instead of two reds, one golden, two reds, three reds, one golden, three reds. So one more red from each side of the golden. Okay, this is what I have. Three, one, three. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, guys, and this is my largest element. Okay, and in this step, what I'm going to do is exit next to a black one. Take three black beads. And skip the next three reds. Because my goal is to exit next to a golden one. And I need three goldens. Skip the next three reds. And I will continue this. Okay guys, and I, I will stop up to here. Here I won't add goldens. Okay, and I will exit through this golden one. 
and what I need to do is attach this one to this one here and I will take one golden go back through this golden in this direction then one more and go here okay now I have a cross of four beads and what I'm going to do is reinforce this cross okay and after that I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread okay let me make knot here okay making here a loop go once go second time through this loop i've made pull then i'm going through the following seed bead and i could go reinforcing this work make more knots and then cut my thread or i could cut my thread right now okay okay and now my long royal earring is ready okay guys and now my long royal earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will see a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye